Taya's reaction to the directional because she knows where we're going. She's going for SWIMM. -M. Right. SWIM is the directional. to Spofford with a canoe, but we gotta hike out and get one cash somewhere first in Swansea on the railroad track. So I'm gonna just get her wet first. She's gonna go in here for a quick swim just to get wet and nothing else. Just to keep her wet so she stays cool in the car. I do this all the time to her. She swims everywhere. Just just get wet, stay wet. Unfortunately, she jumps right off the dock where those three people are in the kayaks. So she's going to have to wait a second. She can't go off the other two docks because the water's too shallow, plus it's dangerous. So she's going to have to wait. Have fun. Good luck. Hi. 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 Going scuba diving. Alright, they're pulling off. Here we go. I'm gonna try to keep it calm, but it's hard. Easy, easy. Hey, hey, Taya, right here, right here, right here. No, Taya, Taya, right here. No, no, wait a minute. Okay, easy, easy, easy. Taya. Oh really? And now she's off down. Yeah. Yeah, she does. Yeah, Chesapeake. Yeah, Taya is her name. We're headed to Spofford actually with our kayak. I got the Grace Forester up there, but I just wanted to get her wet first because we're going for a short hike first. What's your name? Taya. 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 Yeah. Taya with a T. T E H Y A. T E H Y A. Y. Okay, we're on our way over to the Fizzy Mini Challenge 2.5 difficulty cache. We're going across the slate bridge. I believe there's a cache on this bridge. And if I'm not mistaken, I go raw for you. Replaced it. Okay, anyway. Oh, we're uh, 0.5 miles away right now. And we're going to pack up here and then uh, we'll pick it. Okay, it's that, this way. Let's go get it. Leave the Freedom Hawk there. And chase after the Fizzy Challenge. 2.5 difficulty. And I've been eyeing this for a long time since last fall. And it's right in my area where I've got everything else done except these two things. Oh, gotta grab a bag. Okay, here we are, 2.59 p.m., we found it. Okay, that appears to be it. But is it? We're not sure, because when I bent down to grab it, I spotted that over there. So, let's see what we have here. Very interesting. Okay, that second one, I picked it up, flipped it over, and that's what I found. So, I'll take that out with me. And we picked up a travel bug in this one. Jack Seeker 18. I like this TB to go to my cousin, four-year-old Jack, who lives in Stoke, Ontario, Trenton, UK. Any help you can give would be appreciated. So, and I'll leave this one here. This one's a flag type thing I picked up somewhere. So uh, I'll leave that one here. Sign the log. Put this one in my bag. And then we'll be on our way. Oh, there's his cousin. Thanks, Trevor. Pretty cool, huh? Yep. Two people in a Dodge pickup just were backed in by my car and 
just got in their truck and took off as I come walk around the corner. <laughs> Don't tell me they're about to steal my kayak. I'm gonna shit if that thing's unhooked. I've already gone five minutes, probably three minutes to four minutes since I left the car. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, we're here at the duck walk, but it's just way too busy. I mean, we could launch right there, and there's a parking place someone just pulled out. But if you look over on the island where the cash is, there's people over there all over the place. So, we're going to have to scratch a duck walk for today and head over to Spofford. And you know what? I'm going to have trouble parking at Spofford. I don't even know if we'll be able to launch there. Cause there's limited parking. Saturday. Okay, we're here at the boat launch. Oh, here comes somebody. i got to move. And, uh, the island's right out there where the caches are. Maybe tr trouble to get them out there with the muggles today, too. Okay, over here. Come here. Over here. Well, the island's right over there. We just gotta go around this end of it for the first one. And the other one's over here on this side around the corner up there. But this is it. Boat landing's over there. You wonder how I'm out here in a kayak with a dog and staying stable? Well, here's why. Today we're out enjoying the Freedom Hawk Pathfinder 14 and we didn't do too good on the last set of waves. Taya almost fell. I forgot to bring her stuff. I got stuff for her to stand on so it's not slippery. I forgot it. I also forgot an umbrella. Because this, this rail will stand up and I can hook an umbrella to it to keep the sun off from her. I forgot those two things. But we're headed over. As you can see, it's just a beautiful day out here. These people are just pulling out. They're all camped next to us. But uh, we're pulled in here. We've already hiked to both geocaches from the southern end of the island. We just parked here where it is, left our stuff, and went and got both caches. Took the hike around instead of kayaking around. But I'll just show you this one spot here. Very nice out here. This is one of two benches I saw. These weren't here, never here the last time I was here. Which has probably been, I don't know, too long anyway. Probably eight years maybe. I can't believe it's been that long. But there's a little beach here. That's where they keep those people just left. But there's another bench like this at the other end, up where the other cache is. No fires permitted. Some of you that didn't follow along, this is Pierce Island in Spofford Lake, New Hampshire, out in the middle of Spofford Lake. And the trails are virtually like this. It's only not even .2 miles to the other end, and then back. You can go take the trail on this side around this way, and then you come back on the other side. And it's wide open like this, nice walking, all soft underground. Beautiful, just beautiful. Strongly encourage you all to get it. It is a lot better though during the weekday, or during the week, on a weekday, because you don't have all the waves hitting shore from all the boats. There's so much boat traffic today, it's unbelievable. So it's, you know, a little calmer during the week. It'll calm down later on in the day too, but it's like 5.30 in the afternoon right now, so. It's, uh, busy. You can hear how loud these waves come in. You should be out riding them, tell you, huh? Want to go swimming again? Let's go swimming again.
nice little beach here. It's a little rocky in the bottom. Stony, but not rocky. It's not bad. At least it ain't all gucky. It's gucky when you get out a little ways, but you shouldn't be walking out that far. There's a point from where the rocks go out. Oh boy. So here comes some waves. I'm going to take Tay out deeper. So. Good girl, keep going out. Wait a minute, here comes the wave. Stay out there. Turn around. Turn around. Go back out. Good girl. Having fun? Are you having fun? You are? Oh, good. Caught out, isn't it? Ah. Well, I guess we're going to go for another swim. I can't swim with a camera. Actually, I can set it down and show you guys how we go swimming. I mean, everybody knows how we go swimming, but <laughs> that's pretty stupid to say, isn't it? But you know what I mean. I can't even see with the glare of the sun anyway. Okay, we're headed out. We're gonna head home, get the girls some supper. Just gonna show you this. See this lever here? Put that lever down like that, and it folds out here. Then you grab this, pull it straight. Same thing on the other side. Pull it straight, all stable, ready to go. That's how she stands. She likes it out there. We're going to get some waves in this boat. Honey, you got to hold on. We're going to get some waves. Hang on. So these waves are going to nail us. She's not too good with that. i got some stuff to put down here for her feet. Here they come. Hold on. Hang on. There's a boat landing straight over there. Here we go. Wee 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 Good girl, hang on, huh? See? Good girl. Good girl. Okay, I gotta get paddling. I can't paddle and film at the same time. I wish I could. We've only gone that far.